I'm probably roughly right around about maybe a thousand to a little about eleven hundred uh, with the standard deductions like your insurance, right? Best Pass, all that stuff, ELD, and then your uh, your lease payment, then of course being included in that. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at Menstar Transport out of Egan, Minnesota. You can be your own boss. You can build your own truck. You can build your own business with Menstar out of Minnesota. They are a 1099 lease to purchase company out there. They do all of the 48 states with the exception of the top Northeast. If you're not a fan of the Northeast, you don't have to worry about going up there. This is a sick per mile at about a dollar and some change. If this is a company that you guys might be interested in, Nenstar Transport out of Egan, Minnesota. Stay tuned. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? We do not. All right. How much experience are you guys looking for? Uh, we need at least a minimum of 18 months of over-the-road experience in the last three years. Okay. Pre-employment, drug screening, hair follicles, urine, or both? Uh, we just do uh, urine, and that's uh, and we do it up here with us that, uh, during orientation the first day. What type of runs do you guys have available, and in what lanes do you run? Yeah, so we are over the road, um, all, all, all 48 states, but really kind of what we do here is like, you know, of course, Minnesota, right? So Midwest area. Uh, we do northeast, kind of like upstate New York, and then all the way down to the southeast, then uh, then into like Dallas, Houston area for Texas. And then the other side of that then basically is kind of, we do get out there, but it's not very often. Uh, but that's kind of like the main areas that we run. We do expect our drivers to be able to, you know, go everywhere so that they can get the miles and get the money. So, but yeah, we don't go to like New York City, the boroughs, New Jersey. We don't really get into that like Washington, Oregon, Idaho area or really California. But we, I think we have some loads out there, but it's not very often. What about mileage pay? What, what's, what's the mileage pay? Do you guys do per mile or percentage? Yeah, we do a cent per mile, and it's uh, so basically what it would be at the highest is a dollar thirteen before fuel surcharge. Lowest ever would be a dollar five before fuel surcharge. Um, for example, this week it is forty cents, a dollar fifty three, dollar forty five, and then the remaining amount. And then um, you know we do offer stop pay, and then it really depends on what type of load that you're under and what side of the country you're on, where you would be in between that bracket. Then okay, now I'm here in in the upper dollar, so this is. 1099? Yep, 1099. It's, uh, I don't know if you were aware or not, but we are leased to purchase then, too. Okay, so it is leased to purchase. Okay, so so percentage-wise is around what? About 80, about 80 something, 80, 80 something percent? Give or I'm take? not sure. I've never worked in a, I've never worked in a percentage before. I've only ever worked in mileage, and it, and it's uh, only with this one company. So I got really nothing to reference on it in terms of percentage. I just know the per mile. Okay, well, per mile is awesome. So the highest the highest rate per mile is a dollar fifty. You we looking at right? Well, depending on the fuel surcharge, right? Because that that'll vary week to week. So the remember the base rate is a dollar thirteen, dollar five. Okay, now this yep. is least to purchase, right? So what what's my expenses Correct. every week? I'm probably roughly right around about maybe a thousand to about eleven hundred uh, with the standard deductions like your insurance, right? Best Pass, all that stuff, ELD, and then your uh, your lease payment, then of course being included in that. Okay, I, mean, I can't factor obviously is fuel and any maintenance or mechanical breakdown. <laughs> How is the miles? calculated though is it calculated zip to zip or practical to zip. all right so as far as our dispatches come like do you guys have dispatches come to our phone or dispatches we come do. to the sam sarah tablet sam sarah typically I mean, typically it's through sam sarah but then every once in a while it'll probably be a phone call too as well it just it t for the most part though from my understanding it's usually through sam sarah how are the miles are is it consistent yeah, man, our goal and expectation is to get you to 10000 every month, if not more. So, man, if you're willing to stay out and crank the miles and go places, then they'll give you that 2500 each week, if not more, hopefully. And, man, it just really depends because the freight that we haul is all drive and broker load stuff, but we also have specialized freight, uh, which is like ATV, golf carts, slingshots, kind of those recreational vehicles. Um, and they are in that trailer that you see then that the guy's driving, um, and it's split right down the middle, actually. 
and they stack them on top of each other. So with like stuff like that, I mean, that one, like a lot of places that you go to, right, they're dealers. So either their A may not be open on Sundays, uh, they might not be on uh, Mondays, right? It really does vary on the dealers in terms of how they open. So it's kind of a hit or miss in terms of like, you know, one week you might have like 3,200 miles, the next week you have like 1,100. Just because like, you know, you stack them up there, you get paid every, turn your loads in every Tuesday, you get paid every Thursday, right? So, like, you kind of got to manage it in terms of, like, how many loads can I get done in that time frame, right? And what ones would go over to the next one. Is this a walkaway lease? Correct. What kind of equipment that we would have to, to choose from, and what are they governing that? Uh, yeah, great question. You are governed at the speed of 67, then. Um, we do have a security uh, deposit that uh, you have to pay off then. And so it's $6,000, but you pay that off in increments then. We don't charge you that right up front, and you do get that money back at the end of the lease then too. Do you guys offer some type of sign-on incentive or no? Yeah, so uh, we have uh, so that, that, that freight I had mentioned, right, the double-deck stuff, the stuff that's stacked on top of each other, golf carts and stuff, ATVs, uh, we actually give a bonus that's related to that. So we do a hands-on training with that here uh, during orientation, and if you are able to... Uh, be able to drive off the top and the bottom, set the ramps up, push the deck up, and you feel comfortable doing that kind of work, that qualifies you for said bonus, which is $1,000. Or once you, um, you know, leave out of here, once you complete your first load, we give you 250 directly to you. And then the remaining amount is spread out over three months. Uh, my last question, and thank you for the time, being yeah. that this is lease opportunity here, what is there escrow that I had to pay into? Uh, like in terms of a maintenance account or in terms of that 6000 I had mentioned? Well, do you offer a maintenance yeah. program? Yeah, we do. We take five cents out for you for that. All right. Well, thank you very much, sir. I do appreciate it. No problem. My pleasure, James. If you have anything else you need from me, come reach out there and we can make it happen, okay? Men star, everybody. So as I always say, man, there's trucking companies all over and you can pretty much get a feel for a company just by looking at their trucks. Right now, I'm traveling down 90, and I see Men's Star Transport right here in front of me. Big old recruiting number right there in front of me says, hey, call us and see what we have to offer. And that's what I did. Gave them a call to see what they got to offer. They say they are a lease-to-purchase program so it's 1099 as far as benefits i don't think there is none trucks are governed at 68 you can average around a dollar and some change per mile they don't go in the northeast you don't have to worry about the boroughs you don't have to worry about the upper west and all that good stuff they go down far as as you are houston texas give or take and they go as far up as Minnesota. Menstar, what do you guys think of that call? Is this is something that you might be interested in? This is a walk away lease, all right? Just in case you think that it might not work out for you, just, just say, hey, just didn't work out. And we'll close the books. Menstar, if you guys drive for Menstar or have driven for men star let us know of your experience in the comments below if you like to come on the channel and talk about your experience with men star you can do that gmail lockout men podcast guests at gmail.com guys get your suggestions in now for the next mtc you can support the cause by the cash app let us know in the notes who you would like for us to review and we will give you a shout out for that the cash app is dollar sign lockout men until next time everybody Who's